Welcome to part 12 of The Last Guardian. So, yeah, Evil Trico kind of screwed us over again. So we have to take uh, a longer path time. now. Oh, great, another mirror. It's okay, though, because uh, remember... Oh, we, and we... another one, and another one. It's okay, <laughs> Shirai, remember, Shirai, we have a weapon this time. True. And Can since, uh, again... In fact, I'm about to them, and in fact, I'm about to demonstrate it. And since the well, tail erects on oh, yeah. his own, uh, that means my Trico can shoot them indefinitely. I forgot, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was trying to... Now it will work. He, he had to jump on top of here. Okay, now it will work. I'm guessing we have to destroy each of them as we work our way up. Very good, Shiroi. Pew! I so, wonder if... So yeah, from this point on, these mirrors are no menace whatsoever. I wonder if it's symbolic that the sun is starting to rise as we get closer to our goal. Jova, in a few hours the sun <laughs> is rising. <laughs> it's like, like seriously, like seriously, seriously. There's so many games where, yeah, the whole thing lasts a night or something, and as soon as the sun starts to rise, <laughs> that's when things How start getting good. How did you do that? <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Sure. All right. So, let's see. In the meantime, if he manages to destroy the sh the, the mirrors. Yeah. Think of it like target practice, only with your tail. Again, it seems, so, it seems such a um, weird uh, biological design to have your tail being inactive on its own, but if uh, a certain light is shown on a surface, uh, it reacts impulsively and it shoots lightning or fucking laser beams. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's such so random. <laughs> It's granted, uh, granted, medieval times uh, believed uh, in creatures that uh, had lungs uh, capable of spitting fire, so I guess it's just one our way to interpret such uh, diversity in biology. I wonder what's up there on top of that hill. Seems more like a monument. Oh, there we go. Maybe it just shows that these beasts are meant to work in tandem with some of this magic, then, if the only way to activate it is the way we're doing it. True, especially it seems a lot, a lot of stuff is technological, so I guess it's uh, uh, Magitech stuff. Huh. We guess there's no point in going after the mirror since we're not even going that way. Maybe we're just going in circle and we need to get, yeah, to those bridge. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, he had so much blood on, on his neck. No, don't give me that look. Come on. Come on, come on. We gotta give you your usual cleaning. You know how this goes. Look, uh, there's plenty of time to do the mating call later. <laughs> I also noticed actually that he doesn't have teeth. I mean, I guess it's because he has this beak. Like thing, it's he his eagle, snout. his eagle griffin part. Okay. There we go. Here, a little bit there. But yeah, I know Pedro. He will love. He he wants everything to be clean, and I understand. Okay, gotta have him looking good for when we show him off to the village and try to convince them that he's a good guy. I do indeed, Teo. I, I do I indeed. I bought home a puppy. Can I keep it? <laughs> yes. It's the same puppy that swallowed me whole in front of your eyes, Mom, but... I'm uh... sure you remember. Isn't he cute? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now it's time to get to blasting these for real. Here's a problem, though, Shiroi. Where, where would you even keep him? I mean, he's uh -oh. a bit too big. Uh... A cave. Well, considering they live in a rural village, there's probably a lot of room in fields. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if we can just get a if good. If you're uncle. living in a city, however, you'd need to move house. All right. Let's Other try one? and point. Well, so far, the only civilizations that uh, we are not from the ancient ones. Uh, in the I love or, uh, I love this imagery. Him on top of Trico and and destroying the mirrors. Like yeah, we go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, carry on. No, basically, uh, the only the only information that we know from this uh, trilogy that uh, established this uh, 
worth saying is that uh, the civilizational people that are still living at the moment are in small villages. Uh, the protagonist from Shadow of the Colossus actually hails from one and we learn a rather small backstory of what it's like and what he did there. So I guess um, it's probably, well, it's it's kind of safe to say that this is um, actually a, a, some sort of post-apocalyptic world where now civilization is rebuilding itself uh, in smaller groups. You know, it'd be funny. What if it turns out that the civilization in here is one of the civilizations from one of the other eco games? Mm, I don't know, Jova, because uh, it's it tries to it due to the game nature itself. It tries to be like the Queen's Castle from Eco, but it has a lot of different stuff on its own to be its own thing. Maybe and Shadow, of, Shadow of the Colossus oh. itself was in completely its own thing. It was a uh, an entire very huge open field with uh, diverse buildings but then no correlation to each other just to contain the colossi. Basically I was trying to see if I could squeeze in the race through that opening but it's a bit hard so let's do this the way the game intends it to. Oh, it should be smooth sound from here now. Well in terms of the mirrors we don't really have to worry about them anymore. We can just break them ourselves. Mm-hmm. They also, now that I notice, they all kind of look like, uh, uh, what's the name, Dreamcatchers? Uh, those Indian Yeah, athletes, Dreamcatchers, uh. yeah. Never mind, turns out, Trico, turn out Trico has a better path. Let's hope Stephen King doesn't show up. <laughs> and then the boy gets eaten by Trico randomly. <laughs> I, a lot, Wait, I think all sure of this makes more to... sense than a Stephen King novel, honestly. It depends, you right. Some Stephen King novels are pretty much straightforward. Yeah. Others can be weird. He, do, he does I, have his straightforward ones, but yeah, a lot of them I, are bonkers. I really recommend, I can't recommend enough The Black Tower because it's amazing. Although, you mean Dark Tower? <laughs> the Dark Tower, yeah, but the, pro, the smaller problem, quote unquote, is that uh, it's being an, a crossover event, so if you want to get all the references, you kind of need to, to previously read uh, a lot of Stephen King's previous work. <laughs> all uh, right, it seems to be it seems to me that we got all the mirrors at least here. Yeah. So wait, are we on the main tower again? No, but we are in. No, a, this is too but, small to be the main but tower. But we, but basically, we're trying to find a good spot so that we can try jumping and flying into it. And oh, we're climbing up, Joa, so, so we're progressing at least. Unfortunately, his wings are still not quite to that point. Well, you can see we are actually very close to the. Um, you know, level. I wonder what if he's powered by the sun. Solar uh, power, Trico. That wouldn't work, considering we have a lot of places um, where we. Well, where... What I mean is, Michael, I mean, as the sun's rising, he seems to be getting even. Better, like, what if no, it's tied it's just, in? He's probably just the regeneration, Jova, and the fact that uh, he got better after a stuffing barrel in his mouth. What a shame, <laughs> because then I would definitely be able to crack a few Crypto the Super Dog jokes. Did anyone else watch that show? No. I, Not me, sorry. Uh, Job, it, it depends, Jova. If it was the Super Friends cartoon, no. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the actual show Crypto the Super Dog. No, and remember, oh. he's from the Silver Age, so... Well, it was actually a show hosted by... Until Carter that English. charming story where, um, for some reason, I forgot uh, that DCL or decided it was a good idea to turn him into a demonic dog possessed by Ares and make him kill a couple of characters. Uh, fact, are you sure you don't have a mistake of Wonder Dog? Uh, I... Oh, right, that's the one from um, the Super Friends cartoon. Wonder, the Wonder Dog, isn't that... that Sega CD game that uh, the nerd reviewed. Actually, it's a common. Actually, it's it's also a cartoon, uh, Pedro. It's a common name for fictional characters. I, I mean, seriously, Tio, for as much as DC screwed up, they thankfully didn't screw Crypto up. Now that was Wonder Dog, who they used to do terrible things, putting it lightly, to the Wonder Twins. Yeah. There we. we go. So I guess we need to activate more levers or something. Uh, that well, that gate, as you can, as you could tell, was closed. So we have to get her all around so we can open it. And it's not gonna open itself. Let's see how. 
There we go. All right, be ready, Trico. Come on. There we go. Uh, yeah. Trico, where are you? Go. Oh. Oh, there you are. He jumped downward, I guess, to stay off the boredom. Come on. All right, come on, Trico. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now we Should can. Be... Oh, there's another mirror. Let's take care of it. You know, we're so close to that cliff, it's almost taunting. <laughs> we're gonna fall again, aren't we? Uh, well, actually, no, there will not be more, more falling from now on. It's weird, though, I'll admit, though. For as much falling as we've had, the journeys back up seem to have gotten quicker and quicker with each fall. Well, well that's also could... because Rico got better and better, too. Yeah. And yeah. also, one path, we seem to lose one path and another one opens, so... Yeah. You know what they say, when a door closes, a bigger door opens. I mean, at this point, I've got him pretty much trained to a T, so he knows uh, what he has to do. Hmm. All, All right. right, time to jump. In this case, hold on tight. Um, hold on. Keep a new camera. Need a running start? start? He's, remember, he's back wing, backing up so he can gain balance. Oh, okay. Or momentum, rather, if you prefer. Oh, I guess it's because to bang your wings on the way out. Oh, oh shit! Oh, what come on! What did you on. say about not falling? <laughs> <laughs> good. So good architecture. We're all right. Good boy. Okay, fair enough. Oh. Also, I think his wings are bigger again. Yeah, he was even no. able to pull himself up this time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's right. right. You good boy. Yeah. Yes, that's <laughs> right, Trico. You showed that architecture who was boss. And now, gate opened. Leighton would probably love this place. Yes, so many puzzles. I know. <laughs> right. Wait, of course. This uh, I know who the ancient civilization is now. <laughs> the Azran. <laughs> the Azran. Yes, <laughs> obviously, that makes so much sense. Exactly. The same it's a crossover. Same. It's a crossover it's a between Leighton and Team Eco's games with Weda and um, you know uh, working together. Oh, and don't forget the crossover. The full extent of the, the downfall true, of the Azran. The true return of Level 5 collaborating with Japan Studio. It all makes sense, though. The Azran were not only behind Labyrinthia's giant silver bell, but they were also behind this. Don't you uh, see, guys? This mess of a place. Don't you see, guys? This, Leighton, and Ace Attorney are all tied together. Of course. Because of the Azran. Although I gotta at? say, yeah. although I gotta say, Trico would make a pretty interesting witness in Ace Attorney. And hey, as far as Shiro and Tio know, we've cross-examined um, two parrots and a cat, as far as animals go. Right. Well, uh, Trico's already uh, two-thirds of the way there, since he's cat and bird. There you go. <laughs> By the way, Shiro, I'm guessing that out of those three animal witnesses, your favorite was the cat. Uh, I can't even remember. Oh, right. Uh, well, they kind of just sit there and meow. They don't really get no, away. No, no, that's how this mirror is already oh, came uh, broken handy. because I, yeah. bro I broke it ahead of time. Yeah, I can see that. Well, question the cat did come in handy, Shiroi. Although I'm guessing, although I guess to be fair, it is kind of hard to top uh, Polly. Oh, the frame rate. Oh. What the? Oh, there's another one? Oh, yeah. Soldiers. Well, just where? Uh, in the other, in the tower that's oh, right. Oh, they're uh, throwing spears. Well, no problems. We just need to shoot back. You know, in terms of uh, in terms of this game, like as a game, the and you know, considering uh, we're on the final right doing? now, the only problem, the only I problem guess. that I've seen is. The I, I'm, I'm trying to climb down, down, but I'm trying to be careful. But go, go uh, sorry, Shira, could you repeat that? No, I just said in terms of this game, the only actual problem uh, that it has really is the frame rate and nothing else. The frame rate uh, is uh, consistent if you play it on a PlayStation 4 Pro, which is why I was originally thinking of leaving this game to Teo, so you could record it uh, in 1080p. Because if you play this game in 1080p on the Pro, the frame rate is consistently at 30, as you can see for Digital Foundry's mm -hmm. videos. Yeah. However, thanks to the most recent patch, the frame rate uh, got improved up a bit, and right now it's it's not ideal, but it's fun enough. 
Yeah, I only see only now, and maybe like what in one single part, uh, a small yeah. drop. Uh, I've seen a few. Well, it's frame like um, it's like the state. Uh, Sorry, Jova. I've seen a few frame rate drops here and there, but thankfully it hasn't become too much of an issue. Well, especially given what kind of game this is. Considering most how most of the time it's fine, but like the Easy Allies review said, it mostly happens outside. Yeah, it's it like uh, the, it, it, not to mention considering the scale of the world and how it like Theo said earlier, it loads the whole thing every time the game starts. Considering the the yeah. scale of it all, it, uh, it it is kind of to be expected. It's certainly no light ring returns, bro. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Oh, hello. The thing Mena. with lightning return. See, the yeah, thing that was Mena. <laughs> wow, sounds like Menace having a barking contest with it. No, well, the thing the thing with lightning returns is that they were trying to render um, a game, an op well, not open world, but more like a, a world that with a wide world to explore uh, on an en on the, on the Crystal Tools engine, the graphics uh, graphics engine Crystal Tools that Square made for Final Fantasy XIV. The problem is that that engine was made oh. with uh, linear hallways in mind. <laughs> so... You know, here's what I don't get. Well, the thing one, is, Sonic uh, 06 tried to do that too, and but only on one disc, uh, and only one disc on the Xbox 360, so it was even terribly compressed. No, you know, you, you know, it's not like we had, you know, okay, look, I don't get Square, I mean, yeah, okay, I get it. Making a new engine can be expensive, but you could have easily made a souped-up version of an engine made for that, like, oh, I don't know, Final Fantasy X's engine, you know, the game or that got ported even, to all even of then, Jova, I mean, the solution would be easy if they just stick to, like, a lot of companies do, do to the Unreal Engine, but Square is more proud of itself. They want to do things on their own. And until, yeah, until recently, though, Teo, because uh, finally they've decided to cave in and have the Unreal Engine for... No more is using the Unreal Engine for 7 Remake no, and Kingdom Hearts 3. And I think we used even... Uh, used oh, even here we go. Near, but, uh, oh. Uh, Hold on, he's getting know. ready. And... Whoa. Oh! Wow, <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you're getting a bit ahead of yourself, there, Tariko. Not a just smooth a bit of, but... you should oh, well. just adjust a bit of your aim. <laughs> Poor Tariko. You know, it's funny you bring up Winding Returns, Pedro, because, you know... Actually, I, I was one, but go yeah. ahead. I will never stop seeing the irony that a company that prides itself on its graphics made a game as ugly looking as Lightning Returns in the year of 2014. <laughs> Four, yeah, 13, 13 in Japan, 14 in the West. It's like, seriously, how embarrassing must that have been? Shameful. Uh, well, Joe, apparently enough to um, basically fire their current uh, the CEO they had uh, at the time. Yeah. Yeah. And also I mean, enough to nearly kill a franchise. Okay, okay, okay. Now, to be fair, while Toriyama is definitely the main guy behind the 13 trilogy, I don't think it was his idea to use an engine that... Had no well, actually, it, it, Final it, it, regardless of I, it, 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 it's that's in the that's irrelevant show because remember the the sequels were made on the cheap, so they couldn't afford to get another to build another engine. They had to use the one they were stuck with. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's no excuse. No excuse. Like seriously, it the, okay. If that's the case, then you should have made your bed and slept well, in it. Like seriously, like, oh, okay. Soldiers. Like seriously, if you want to do something with All that right. engine. Then why not actually liven up the hallways at least? That could be done too. Yeah, that's what they should have done. Well, they should have done. Go ahead, Sharon. No, no, go ahead. There's oh. nothing going on. It's just a like soldier. Go ahead. What they okay. should have done instead was well, instead of like because they okay, they needed the other two games to actually make up the losses from uh, thirteen, the first thirteen. Yeah. I don't understand why they didn't just take that money and try to develop a a different and much better game. Because you're right, the they had back up that way. Because you're right, they wanted to make it seem like the 13 game was a success. Not just yeah, that. Yeah. They... Remember, Shiro, they expected that Turkey to sell 10 million, and we we were gonna try <laughs> to do that one way or the fucking other. Not just that, Shiro, <laughs> but Toriyama had to uh, was going to try his hardest to make us love Lightning as much as he does. Okay. Even if well, even if it um, even if it took three games to do it. In his fan fiction, I mean, he basically calls out God at the end. Yeah. You know, okay, okay, okay. I'll admit, I get the feeling of Toriyama being more of a figurehead than the main person behind why the 13 games are bad. No, don't get me wrong. No, don't get me wrong. He definitely had a say he's in the He's the story. main writer and the and, director, so he's kind of... Yeah. So he's Hold a tool on. like Donald Trump. 
hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Yeah. I mean, I go, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. When it came to, you know, trying to make us love lightning and stuff, that I can get. However, in regards to having to make two more things on the cheap, I'm starting to get the feeling that that wasn't so much his decision. It just provided him with the chance to try and make us. No, 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 no. That, that's pretty obvious. You, you, you can tell that the intention was just to make a 13 game and then move on. But then he was told by the executives, you have to make two sequels. Uh, you have to make sequels until we get back the money that that, that the 10 million units thing. So, did that actually fact, reach 10 million? It did. Thanks no. for letting returns. It did, uh, actually. So, so if it didn't no, reach wait, 10 million Pirate by that point, then we'd get time. more 13 sequels. It, 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 <laughs> it did bomb, Teo, but it did sell just enough to finally reach that 10 million oh, mark. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I get what Pedro's was talking about. The fact that they were able to convince stores to buy purchase in fact, in, in, in fact, in fact uh, Kitaza himself said that they only... Uh, that uh, He said this before Latin Returns came out. He said that they only needed to sell more, like, I think there was, like... N 400,000 oh. 400, units more to reach the 10 million mark. So basically, wait, 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 and wait, since wait, the Lightning Returns sold 1 million units worldwide, it did it. But go ahead, Joe, what is it? I'm guessing that you're talking about the units actually shipped as opposed yeah, yeah. to uh, what actually I'm... the ones that people bought. Basically, yeah, there's a difference between sales and shipment units. Okay, 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 okay. okay. For future reference, Pedro, you might want to refer to those as the units they shipped as opposed to actually sold. Mm. Because I go shipping regards to when they're actually selling it to the stores to buy them from. Sales are actually in their actual sales, which ties in, again, yes, to how well the game profited, but also more so as to how many people actually bought them in stores. That's probably why Tia was a bit confused there. Well, because, oh, yeah, Lighting you... Returns... Well, well, okay, you've told me the story yourself, that Lighty Returns to this day is still keeping a lot of stores in stock. It's, it's one of those things anyway. where the, the original game had to sell 10 million, but so they kept making the two sequels just so they could reach those 10... So that when I say 10 million, I'm talking about the combined sales of all three games. See, because here's the, the, because the first I'm game just... still sells 7 million units. So. What? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Let, let me get let me get let me get the actual numbers. Go ahead. To act, right. to answer your question, draw well, sorta. If you wanna have a real culprit because you don't think Toriyama is too much responsible, the um, game design director for Lightning Returns was actually Yuji Abe. Yeah, so... yeah, there's that yeah too. true. He's probably the one by the game design. The only reason I bring this up is because I've been looking into his history when well, yeah, Toriyama has a lot of very controversial and borderline creepy stuff. The guy actually can do good here and there. Like, well, okay, for as many problems as people may have with Final Fantasy X's story and whatnot, overall, the game is pretty peachy, and X-2 mm -hmm. is actually kind Debatable. of entertaining. And then, of course, this is his most recent venture, Mobius, which, okay, is not, like, something glamorous or something, but is actually a pretty neat mobile game from what I've seen and heard. And then, of course, this Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings, which actually took the characters from Final Fantasy XII and made something more of them. That's right, the DS game did more than its actual console counterpart, and that was oh, also very good by Toriyama. Awesome. Why do I bring this up? Because, well, I get the feeling that Toriyama could actually maybe be good if he put he his head into it. probably just needs someone um, keeping an eye on him or something. There you go, you Teo. Um, oh, wait, hold I'm on, I'll let you speak first. I I'm checking right now. Final Fantasy, uh, keep in mind, I'm combining the sales of the 360 and PS3 versions. Sure, yeah. well, obviously. We um, don't know, even, yeah. don't even know the Steam sales. Uh, the, 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 the first 14 sold 7 millions and a half. Let me, okay. see, let me see the sequel. So as you can probably tell too, I, I, you can see where this is going. They did manage to reach those that 10 million mark. There you go. Yeah, so, I, can, wow. I, I can see 13.2 and 9 are arriving at 3 millions. I just didn't know about the 7 millions initial. So let me get this straight. Square sacrificed so much dignity with the next two sequels just Tears to make about two and a half million. more yeah. million. Tri-Ace got, the, they even suckered in Tri-Ace into this mess. And part of the Osaka team, yeah. Just for two and a half million or more say. Wow. Yeah, there you go. The thirteen two sold base yeah uh, three sixty. Well didn't you sit didn't Yeah, basically three like million unit. Ba basically around yeah, well keep in mind I'm I'm oh. checking out I'm checking the I'm checking the full uh lifetime sales and by and by, and by that I'm including oh. sales of Basically we basically we reached the ten million mark. That's basically all you need to know. Mm -hmm. Speaking uh, of reaching Oh, Yay! Um, I believe I can fly. 
or and glide. And there we go. We reached the tower. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, oh, he uh, always lands with here, style, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, sorry. Uh, now you don't have a fucking chance. So. Sorry to crash the party, but... Uh, huh. I love how the music is hard. even... I love how the music isn't even terrifying for once. Now it's actually triumphant. I'd like to get away from the edge, please. Anyway, but yeah, you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that Toriyama may have actually have gotten sort of orders to try and draw that much attention to the game, because I'll be quite honest, uh, Pedro, question. Go ahead. Before 13.2 and Lightning Returns, did you really show that much of an infatuation with Lightning? Uh, well, did they just reactive. fucking melt? Uh, no, uh, no. React to the mirror? Yes, they do. Uh, if you point the mirror light to them, they'll <laughs> shrink and stay still. Yes. Whoa, I, I love thought they melted. Running. It's not. He was it, 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 there. It's not that advisable to use that that particular tactic a lot because remember, in order to do I that, you melted. have to stand still. And if you stand still during a uh, a bunch of those soldiers in, one of them can grab you while while you're pointing the mirror. So it's not exactly a good mm -hmm. idea to do that only when you think it's safe. Yeah, well, I mean, that guy freaking melted before Chica shot him. Ha, huh, he's running scared now. So, uh, anyway, though, Pedro, question. Go ahead. Um, did Matoma Toriyama ever really have this whole lightning gig thing going before? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, great, well, well, the thing is, you have to remember that back before 13 came out, there wasn't that much, I mean... When 14 came out, came out, 14 came out in 2009 in Japan, 2010 in the West. It, by that point, uh, social media, while around, wasn't exactly as pop, you know, as prevalent as it is nowadays. So, didn't so we didn't, so, so we didn't see as many interviews from him as much as we saw during the sequels. Uh, it was, but of course, uh, when we got to a lot of his interviews during the 13-2 and how it for treated 13-2 and how 13-2 treated Lightning like a, a fucking diva and shit. And then when we got, we got to that Lightning Returns reveal event, that's where it submitted everything for everybody. Yeah. Okay, that okay. and the fact the one where he was where he was talking about was it the flowers? Yes, the flowers. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not not just that, Shirai, but of course there's also Roses. there's also that interview Whoa. where he there's also that interview, Shiroi, where he and his team were talking about how they increased Lightning's uh, breasts and how their her breasts changed size depending on the costume. Depending on the outfit, yeah. yeah. And that yeah. other interview uh, where there, where his uh, colleagues ex expressed worry about him. <laughs> to give you an idea, Shiroi, Jardin, I can't pronounce his name. Jardin uh, Raymond from SSMB, I, I can't pronounce his name, for, who's probably the biggest Final Fantasy XIV apologist I've ever seen. Even he threw his hands actually, up. Actually, Ming Ming, remember. No, 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 no. you know, Teo, that guy that also talks up a lot about the how he likes the XIII lore. Uh, not so much the games, yeah. but more like the lore. And I talk about Ming Ming, I talk about that, that guy from SSMB, Jardin no, Ryan. Jardin Ryan, man, I know who he is, but yeah. I thought Ming Ming was much, a much more apology. No, so. no, I, I know, yeah, but, I know but, remember, but, but remember, Teo, he himself was always talking about, oh, I, I still want the games because I like them to expand the lore and shit like that. So that's, I, honestly... Anyway, anyway, the thing about Toriyama is like, oh, I'm starting to wonder <laughs> if all his talk about lightning and stuff, like, all that was just a big... Uh, okay, I know this may sound crazy, but I, I get the feeling that it was a big mandated uh, social media move to try and draw attention to eh, Honestly, Joe, oh, I, wait, I wait, think wait, it wait, just... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, think about it, though. Have we even really heard him talk about how great Lightning is ever since that trilogy was done with? And did That's we actually hear him talk about have, how... We don't even have interviews with him anymore. Well, I get that, I get that, but think about Remember, it. Remember, Joe, he took a vacation, so... Well, again, again, though, I'm starting to wonder. I'm again. I'm not gonna say like, well, it was totally, completely none of his influence or whatnot. But I'm starting to wonder if, like, well, if that was at least a ploy to, you know, try and, well, draw attention to the games. In Even if it was, Jova, it would have been very poorly executed. Oh well, dude, I'm not saying that it Square was poorly of executed. That. Good because, yes, boy. We just killed a lot of soldiers. It's Yay. okay. It's it's okay, Teo. They're automatons. They don't actually have souls. <laughs> uh, yeah, Unless it like, turns uh, out like, that well, they're and, uh, for, like, this, this is not a Yoko Taro universe, Teo. So do, no, they don't that, have souls. That, that's um, that's like what uh, Melvin says in a bridge. Oh, robots! You know what that means? I can still be no. hardcore as hell and still be PG thirteen. It reminds me of um, the way you just went to that. Reminds me of, of, of any of you seen Sonic for Hire? 
heard of it. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that a fan hack? No, 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 that is... Series. Yeah, it's a mini web series where um, Sonic is basically jobless and he's going through all the other video game series oh. to try to find work. And there's one with Kirby and he's basically a fucking psychopath. Is that, is that like a Newgrounds yeah. Flash series or something? Uh, it's on YouTube, actually. More like it's a dorkly related one. Hey, Shira, have, yeah. you, have you ever seen, back in the old days of Newgrounds, Sonic Uncut? That was so terrible. Oh, I... Ugh. I vaguely rem remember something. Sonic Uncut. Basically, basic Job, it was this thing where these mons kept... Long ass time ago. Basically, they made these... Uh, it was a, a guy who made the, a Flash series called Sonic Uncut back on Newgrounds, back when Newgrounds was still popular, where it was Sonic and Vince always doing drugs and having sex. It was terrible. Are we sure it wasn't Igor Raptor? Uh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Uh, uh, because if it was Igor Raptor, then it would be way more loud and obnoxious. Okay. No, I, I vaguely remember something like that, but like I said, that was a long time ago, I Hmm. Like, for example, there's okay. even a scene where they literally had uh, Sonic and Amy um, have a one-night stand and stuff like that. Because of, they were drunk or something like that. Like, seriously, it was it, it, it was so stupid and... Like, uh, what, what, what the fuck were those people thinking when they wrote that? Well, like, why, why write these characters like that? It, it reminds me of the new Muppet show, where we have Miss, Miss Piggy having a boob job. No, that's <laughs> not... If you want to do an adult uh, show, because fine, but don't friends. don't bring in yes. these characters into it. <laughs> That's not what these characters do. Yeah. Make new characters and butcher them. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Again, just what? Uh, again, just watch Jason Segel's uh, 2011 movie if you want to see the Muppets portrayed properly. Well, I'd say that the new Muppet Show did some episodes fine enough. I'd say at best it was good. The problem is that it wasn't at its best all the time. It wasn't the Muppets, though. It was just the well, office with the I Muppets. I haven't seen the new show, but I have seen the 2011 movie. Oh, okay then. Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure it was the 2011 movie? I remember you telling me that you saw Most Wanted, but I don't think you told me that you saw... <laughs> Like uh, which one? Well, did it you... must have been 2011 because I'm sure it had Selena Gomez in it. Oh, okay. Yep. What, was just yep. was yep. just was yep. just in yep. single in it. I can't remember. Amy Adams well, was Amy Adams. Considering Ad Wait, Selena Gomez, it was probably 2011. Was Amy Adams was Amy Adams in it? Like I said, I can't remember. Mm. She probably saw it though because Selena Gomez was in it. Yeah. Oh. All right. All right, anyway, everybody. So I, I guess it's uh, the final dungeon. Yes. All right, everybody. Tune in next time for the for the exciting, terrifying, and powerful moving conclusion of the Last Guardian. Oh, please don't kill the dog. Prepare, cat. prepare. No, wait, the dog bird cat. Prepare yourself, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, to experience true friendship in its purest and most beautiful form. Oh. <laughs> all ponies. That's not a good sign. Oh, okay. See ya. See ya, everybody. See ya. See ya.